my name is Mark Maher and I'm the owner of Odyssey Studios here in Limerick. I do miniature uh, cities and stuff like that and prop making. Um, I started off in college up in Dunleary in IEDT and I did four years there and then I ended up moving to New Zealand where I worked on such films as The Hobbit movies 1, 2 and 3 and then I kind of left New Zealand after a good few years, came back over to Ireland, started working in the film industry here and then over to Alice in Wonderland in the UK and did all the miniature models for there. In the last few years, in the last year, two years, I've actually come down to Limerick and we've set up a studio here, which is based for prop making and prosthetics and fake arms and fake heads. And it's kind of, we're working on miniatures now at the moment again. So our studio is based with robots and 3D printers and kind of all the fake stuff that you see behind me here as well. The Limerick Enterprise office supported us hugely here. They really helped us set this whole place up and without them I don't think we would have been able to do it. So I just found that coming to Limerick, everybody was around the table, just like a circular table, just to be able to talk to. I didn't have to go off to individual places to see where we can get help, how are we going to set up, where are we going to set up. We didn't want to go into a warehouse. They kind of really cater to us here to help us. So before we would take a live cast of an actor, and that means we would cover them in kind of silicon and take a mold of them, but now we just 3D scan them and we print out our heads here. So we're here in Odyssey Studios is where we're going to be teaching how to do it. And we're going to run a kind of variety of different courses here as well. It's a very exciting career. You can get to travel, you can get to, you meet loads of really cool people. There's loads of really good prop makers in Ireland as well. You know, you have some really good, talented people here. And you know, there's loads of people to learn from. There's Bobby here who's been on the Vikings, the, kind of the head prosthetic technician there for years. And he's going to be running prosthetic courses here. So he's the top range here. And then we've miniature artists like myself, prop makers like myself, but then I have people from all over the world. And it's to give people around Limerick a kind of a taste of what I got from learning from these people. And if I can give that back and people go, oh, look, I really love it. I did the weekend course. I'd really love to do the two week long course or the eight week course. It's to give them that option. I was kind of looking at doing a fantasy course for kids. So it's pretty much even going out to your back garden and zooming in on something. It could be an area like a rockery and taking that picture and then just start drawing castles all over it. And you're actually getting an environment there where you can actually draw on. So taking pictures of a certain area in your garden and then drawing castles and you actually have a very miniature environment which can be blown up to look like a real film set. Um, and I would encourage people to do that kind of stuff. It's like the fairy houses that you'd see around the forest and stuff like that, little fairy doors and stuff like that. But to do that yourself, to take those sketches and start drawing on top of your photographs and stuff like that, that's, that kind of gets you exploring that kind of world as well. When I was on the Hobbit movies, we it's very strange because I'm coming from Tipperary, so it was kind of completely new to me to be on such a massive budget film and I was in the cafeteria and you're queuing and you know I'm seeing wizards and orcs and all that in the queue and we're all queuing for food and I'm just blown away but after a while you're just you know you're just saluted it could be an orc in front of you and all the dwarves behind you and it's just real surreal to be in that environment but it's, it's a real magical moment because you're going through all the sets and you're seeing the real sets and you know you've worked on some of them where it was Lake Town and we worked on all the cities through there um, but it's just kind of it, it was always funny to me to kind of see the wizards maybe walk past in a pair of Converse runners. Um, it just took me out of the world for a while, but then you get so used to it. So you're just like, Jerry, how are you? You know, Tom, how are you? And they're little hobbits or whatever. And they all, on the hobbit, they actually stuck together. So the, the elves were, even in the cafeteria, they were all in one corner. The dwarves were in another corner. And then, you know, the hobbits in one area. So they actually were clannish in that area. So it was cool kind of to see that as well. But. Been over there for years, after a while you get kind of used to it and being on film sets and stuff. So when I came back to Ireland, I had a lot of experience, let's say, working on some larger budget stuff. So when I did come back here to work on the TV, like Penny Dreadful and all those kind of stuff, it was kind of nearly second nature after a while.